my name is Alexis Delgado. I graduated in 2021, Bachelor's of Science in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Um, and what I am doing now is I work um, at a company called KCAS. They're started in Kansas City, you could consider it like a local bioanalytical company, and they just started expanding into Philadelphia, and now there's like an office in Lamar. Originally, I saw myself maybe doing like a med school or immediately going to get my PhD. Um, and I will still go back to grad school and get a PhD. Um, but working at KCAS has allowed me to see the different like breadth of what I could do. Um, um, I was introduced to the company. It was related through Avila because one of my uh, mentors, um, a friend of a friend of a friend is how it happened, but my professional mentor knew um, someone through the company BioKansas, which is also based in Kansas City. And I had been working with BioKansas, just networking through them. And they enjoyed it. Networking is a skill. And then that's a skill that has pushed me into more of a leadership role quicker. I think networking is something that I would attribute to Avila because of how the campus works. So especially here, if I need something from a different department, if I was in the science department and I need to go see like Dr. Smith, I would email her, go see her directly. It's very accessible to go talk to different people in different groups. And some of my colleagues that I now work with who are from larger universities specifically, when there is an issue that happens, um, say they need to go talk to someone in biopharma and they're in pharma, they're like, what do I do? I'm like, well, you just that. Um, I think the biggest impact let's say Avila as a whole had on me was um, just the skill to think of any situation as small and big at the same time. So if there's one problem that you think just impacts you and two other people, it's likely impacting a lot of other people. And it's kind of a skill to think about, okay, this is really bothering me, but if it's bothering me, how is this also impacting those around me that I can see and that I can't see? And I think that's something that people don't learn easily. I don't think I learned that easily. Like it prob it took me all four years <laughs> when I got there eventually. And that's probably another reason of why I learned to communicate really well um, and efficiently, because that's something that I just I practice daily as if this is happening to just a small amount of people, it's likely impacting a big scale as well. Or if it's a big scale problem, there's probably a small scale way to look at it too. That's what I would attribute to what Avila's taught me the most. I think um, the size of the campus and the culture of the campus allows you as long as you're willing to accept it that um, there are people that are very different within arm's reach of you and it's very easy to go talk to them or go support them at a game or at a play it's easy to communicate and engage with people that are very different than very different than you as long as you accept it if you don't accept it then you're gonna say i never met anyone different than me but there's a lot of different groups and kinds of people here which going back to like a company, like what I see at my work is people are very easy to sequester themselves with people that are more like them or do things that they do, but it's not a huge company. So it is very easy to go out and talk to different groups if you're willing, but if you're not willing, it's not gonna happen. And that's the same thing here where if you're willing and you allow it, you can meet a lot of different kinds of people in a small space. And it's more personal that way, in my opinion.